don't go in there. Get out of sketch. Like we're literally trapped in our room right now. We're in like a really ghetto neighborhood. We stand out too much here. Just don't, just don't get eye contact with anyone. That's pretty much a dead yeah, 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 yeah. Hello world and all who inhabit it. Welcome back to another fire episode of My Unfortunate Life Choices. I'm your host Brennan Taylor and today we are going deep into the internet to find reviews on one of the most disgusting, one of the most vile, one of the most horrific motels that have ever been in the Las Vegas streets. It's disgusting. It's absolutely disgusting. So let's just hop on Yelp, let's read some of these reviews, and let's go at it, shall we? So the first one already has a picture, and when pictures are on Yelp, it's not a good sign. So this one says, one star with a verified check. Well, um, I don't really expect much when staying in low-key motels, but damn, they didn't even change the sheets. This was under the comforter. I bet they're still looking for that sock. It's someone's sock. There's nothing worse than losing a, a one That's sock. A nasty sock. That's a nasty sock, but poor guy is like, is it a sock now? All right, next one. This was a paragraph. Oh my God. I'm just gonna buzz this one down for us, all right? Avoid, avoid, avoid. This is hands down the worst place I've stayed in my life. There are, as far as I see, only two good points of staying here. It is easy to get to, and it will make you appreciate the place you will stay in afterwards. Basically, that person didn't like this place. That was a, a novel. They wrote the Bible for the Yelp review. This property is too much drama and favoritism going on. James, the CSR, is always drunk and will occasionally leave alcohol in the freezer, and the manager has no problem with it. As a local guide, I can tell you to take your money elsewhere. Renters, beware. This place is a scam. Then here's some reasons why this place sucks. Bro Slash bed bug infested. That's not fun. Bed bugs are not fun. Uh -uh. Outdated interior, high crime area. Great. Uh -huh. Drugs. Are they free? <laughs> Tow away zone, no free Wi Fi. That's it. We can't go. That's it. <laughs> Bad manager, always drunk and plays favorites. Also, she's too focused on her love life and not her job. The CSR's weapon behind the counter and management is fine with it. What the hell is that? That seems like some stuff that you, you find in prison and you get shanked with this. That is literally brass knuckles with a knife tied to it with a bandana. This is sus, man. We might walk into this place and just get shanked. I truly do not understand why this place remains open. A murder was committed here. What? It says a murder was committed here, drugs, prostitution, gang activity, health hazard, and the doors are open for business. Yeah, it is, Las Vegas, South Central. A girl has been killed and a boy wounded in a stabbing and beating discovered Monday morning in the South Central Las Vegas Valley. Police say this incident happened just before 11.20 on Monday. When was this? This was November 20th, 2017. Okay, so this place might not be very safe to go to, but there was actually a murder at this place. So with that being said, I guess it is time for us to do what we do best and go check out this motel. First so, off, let's go find some weapons. Yeah, and a bulletproof vest. <laughs> Let's get it, boys. All right, wait, so what's going on? All right, so uh, after doing all the reviews, we decided that we needed to take off all of our stuff. Like, it's not worth it. We're not gonna go get robbed, so I'm not gonna be wearing my Gucci hoodie. He's taking off his Roly. We're leaving our Louis, Louis back here because we're not gonna risk it. I'm literally taking off my Apple Watch because it's not worth my life. So I just brought the screwdriver from the from your place. I kept it in my Louis bum bag so I don't lose it. Right, so we're gonna see if they have a room before we even waste our time going to the ghetto. Hi, Brittany. I want to see if you guys have any rooms available. Uh, we do have uh, one studio open right now. How much is it? The room is running uh, $322.35 for the first week. Um, I can't get to the room, but you can definitely come and take a look at it. Do you do, do, you do like daily rates or? Not on our weekly rooms. We have daily rooms. Available? They're running, uh, oh, sorry, $56.49. Um, if you pay with cash, it'll be $100 cash deposit. Okay. All right. Cool. Thank you. Okay. So I just feel like uh, from the reviews, it said that you should be careful because they're scamming you and they're like literally they charge you and then they'll kick you out of the room. So I think what we should do is have cash. That's your agree? Yeah, yeah. But then we won't get the deposit back. That's true. If it's a card, you can charge back. But they'll have my card on file. Then you gotta cancel your card and all that. Or you can just like. The worst comes to worst, I cancel my card. Yeah. Do that. Just. All right. I think there's a... Two places for you to sign. One, you'll find it in the top line. Okay. 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 Okay.
Lock that shit. This is the worst lighting ever. We're gonna need to attach a light on this, quick. Yeah. Careful what you guys touch, because you don't want to bring bed bugs back. Oh, uh, that can happen? Yeah, they can jump on your clothes. Oh god, I put this on to block me. It stinks in here. It smells awful in here. It smells like, it's like they put mouthwash all over the floor. It smells like eucalyptus, like a mint. This is the room. It costed $56. Super sus place. There's literally like people that are just hanging around like outside all on their porches and stuff Like I'm not saying anything's wrong with that, but it just it, it looks really ghetto It looks it's very ghetto. ghetto like the way you picture with ghetto driving down like ghetto streets This is exactly what this looks like. These are the beds like I did see in the reviews that it said like everything was like super old looking and like ew That's straight blood right there Turn the, turn the light off for a second, Jake. Look at all that. You can yeah. see the stain, but look how that's blood. that's blood. We have to do the mattress and pull the mattress up again. Uh, look at these sheets, look, man. This guy, look, it's all dirty. Everything is just dirty here. This is such a sick room, man. They literally do not keep these remotes in the room. They literally have them all locked up because people steal remotes. Like, mm. who's stealing remotes? For especially with our TV this old. I don't think the TV works. Oh, there it is. Wow. wow. That's some awful quality TV. That gives me a headache. Dude, it looks like you're watching like you know those replays from the 1980s yeah. of like a highlight. Think about think about how we all used to watch TV on TVs like this. Let's see what they got in the fridge. No, look at this ice up here. Oh wait, there's mold on the bottom. Is that mold or rust? Is it? That's just rust. Look at the ice on it. The big dirty ass stain and that stain. Yeah. That's up gross. top two. Hold it up. Look at that. It's nasty. Nasty. Open microwave. <laughs> Put it behind. Microwave is pretty clean. Oh, there's a f there, cube there's in there. There's a cube in the microwave. That's disgusting, man. Like, how did that even get there? This is. Oh, we need to wear gloves and stuff when we come into places like this. So here's the bathroom. They did do some nice job. Let's let's be honest. All right, they did fold this up nicely. Did you see that? Let's get the black light on this and see if we see anything. They usually use a ton of bleach on those things. So. Yeah, the towels look pretty. Towels are good. Towels are good. Towels are good. Everything's new, at least. I mean. I don't know, they could have just refilled these, but for what it is. Why is this on there? Let's just say that it's just say they cleaned it. Uh, let's check this out, man. There's literally hair on the toilet. How do they clean that shit? Let's lift this up. Camera. There's piss stains. That's disgusting, man. That's disgusting, dude. Hair in the in the bathroom, man. Leave the light there. It's just like There's hair right there. There's literally hair everywhere, man. Like, how do they clean this place? Oh, Disgusting. It's not that much mold, though, so probably, unless you just paint over it. Now the beds. So this is going to be disgusting. Do we lift up the sheet? Hey. Yeah, lift the sheets up. Let's go, look at everything. Is this... Sheets look uh, pretty clean. Oh, there's a little some stains right here. Oh, let me get them. You see it? Yeah. Mattress. Uh, I don't know if that's like sweat marks or if that's just how the mattress is. I think those are all sweat marks. Has to be, right? Maybe it's just the design. Okay, we're gonna lift up the mattress now. It's oh. not bad. Not bad. All right. So there, is that a bug right there? Where? Is it? That's so big. No. Okay. So for for what this is, it's not that bad. Yeah, I think this is fine. Like it's clean. It looks it? pretty clean. But we still went on the bed. So this place is not as bad as the last motel we were in. The last motel had blood stains on the walls. Like, looked like literally someone shot themselves in this place. Yes, this one does have this nasty ass stain. I don't know what that is. That might be period blood, honestly. All right, so we're gonna rip the sheets off this real quick. See if we see anything else here. I feel like I'm honestly getting itchy being in here. We didn't take the pillows, did we? Well, we left. Yeah, we didn't. Are they moving? No. They just like bluff. Oh, oh bro. bro. That was like blood or something. I don't know what that is. I thought that was a big ass bug when I first saw it. So we can see anything underneath it. What does that say? What? Like graffiti on it. I don't know. But think about like the people that actually like stay here. Like who, what kind of people do you think stay here? Like people that are just trying to get a quick cheap night or do you think it's like actually like hookers and I'd say gang hookers. members. I'd say hookers. Like you want, like you pick up a hooker, you take a straight here, you do the business, and you like get out. You want an in and out. A dirty bed. This one's dirtier. A little bit right there. A little stain, but yeah. little stain, something. Nothing. Nothing, disgusting. nothing too crazy. This one still has the plastic. Honestly, this looks. This look like they're brand new beds. Yeah. Almost. Like, it's cause probably, like this is like all brand new. 
I'd say they probably got these are all new because these are way too clean. Yeah, this is way too clean for these. this room because like look at the carpet. Like just the carpet looks nasty. The carpet looks dirty. These are like the newest things. Like <laughs> look, look, bed, it's like not even vacuums. Like look at all the crumbs on the ground right here. It looks like bugs or yeah, this looks like a bug right there. And there's hairs and like pews <laughs> on the ground. Nasty. Is this a toenail right there? Ugh. Where? See it? And that's a toenail right there. Another one down there. I just, I feel super like unsanitized just being in here right now. There's literally a, a stain. demon stain on, on the, the whole thing chair. on camera yeah. looks disgusting. Like I feel like I can see someone's butt print like sitting yeah. on this. Look. Oh, that's for sure someone's butt print. Is there like any gum underneath the table or anything? No, I didn't see much. Oh, he's a nice stain right there. It's yeah. like it. It's like a dark stain. I want to be... That's someone's balls. That's someone's ball sweat. I don't know, man. This place is gross. Should we go see the casino? We should do a walkthrough real quick. We should do a walkthrough, but... I reckon we check out so we get get like in a hand and mobax there's no issue. We go to the casino, order the Uber when we're in the casino, then hop in the Uber. Okay, so Because this area is super sketchy, like I like we felt unsafe walking to the room. Yeah, don't go in there. Yeah, that's sketch. I don't know why you do that. Like we're literally trapped in our room right now. We're in like a really ghetto neighborhood. Like walking, even getting booked in the room was scary. We were in the room, we're booking, and like people are walking by, staring at us. Like I kept telling you, stop filming because I didn't want them to see the camera. I was trying to do it for the video. Yeah, yeah. but it's not worth our lives, man. Well, I think they're like next to us, so. <laughs> All right, I say we just walk straight to the thing, drop the keys, go into the casino. But you got everything with the remote. But, but the remote was in here when we got in here. Yeah, bring it back. Bring it back. Just bring it back. Okay, so use this to hide the camera because it's where I like. I don't know. How old these machines are? Yeah, this is guys an OG. So it's really hard to film in here. This is what a one-star casino looks like. So do you want to just like loop around real quick? Or? Yeah, I kind of just did a walk there. Tiny it smells. There's no AC. It's very oh, hot, very stuffy. Security's coming. We're super out of our element. Like yeah, we're out of place. Like, like we're out of place. Yeah. Like, we don't belong here. That's why I said we should have went to the gas station. No, but the thing is, you got the camera. For, uh, yeah, no, at least do it here now. we're protected. We stand out too much here. Just don't, just don't get eye contact with anyone. That's pretty much a dead happen. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's just one minute. Should we go outside or? Uh, I want to get out of here. You know, I'm actually like sweating because I'm nervous. Yeah, me too. Have you been to this, uh, this area a lot? A lot. I, I blew yeah. up out here. Oh, you did? Why? What's up? Oh, nothing. We were just wondering. Cause I, I read because I, I wanted to come here because I read online that there was a murder here. Is that true? You heard about that? Murders everywhere. Where at that cafe? At, not the cafe. At the uh, that hotel right there. What hotel? Oh, I wouldn't doubt that. Damn. Yeah, I wanted to check it out. Cause I'm just a dumb kid that likes to check things out, you know? <laughs> okay, so clearly we weren't, we couldn't even film in that casino. Like, it was way too sus. We were just not belonging in there at all. I wanted to get out of there. And even going in that guy's Uber, I was sus down in the beginning. Oh, yeah. Because the guy, I looked at the Uber, his name was Robert on the Uber, and I, he asked us our names, and we asked his name, and he says Adam. Yeah. And I immediately triggered back because I was like, his name's Robert. I just looked at it. And I was super sussed. And you anyways, just asking weird questions. Weird questions, man. Anyways, that wraps up this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please smash the thumbs up button. If you want to see more One Star Reviews, let me know what you want me to do in the comments below. If you want me to travel the U.S. and hit these up all over the world, I'll do that too. So let me know in the comments. Go check out everyone in this video. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. <laughs>